First visit to Yosemite was 1972. I was 13 years old, came here with my parents and uh, instantly fell in love with the place. Then on the way out, I made my parents stop in El Cap Meadow and said, stop the car, wait right here, I'll be right back. And I ran up to the base of El Cap, touched the rock, and I looked up and it was like sparks going through my hands. It was, I don't know how else to describe it. I felt this energy that I'd never felt in my life. Uh, facelift was something that I started in 2004. Grabbed a bunch of litter sticks I borrowed from the Park Service. I got bags, safety vests, and I went into Camp 4 with my pickup truck and passed them out to all the climbers that were staying in Camp 4 at the time. And then I realized everybody's having so much fun. I go, this is can be something. You, you'll feel the buzz and the excitement as the week goes on. I mean, you can feel it already. I felt it the first day. There's just an excitement about this place and the energy is just like bouncing off the walls. Right on. You can just feel it on the buses or no matter where you go. People are talking, people are excited, people are picking up trash. It should be like that everywhere, but you know, perhaps someday it will be. I love the fact that these people get together uh, every year. Many of these people met at the facelift. There's people that have gone to all 16 of them and they met here and the only time they see each other is this one week out of the year. And that's powerful, it really is. biggest year I think we had 476,000 pounds. We've cleaned up over a million pounds in the last 16 years. Go enjoy your hike, enjoy the park. We're just asking you to pick up a little trash while you do it. And they go, okay, and they'll come back in and they go, you know, I was only gonna do it for half an hour, but I had so much fun and people are helping me fill my bags up. I wanna do it again tomorrow.